Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Sunday, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games and 7800. Uh, broadcasting at 60 frames a second, so make sure you've set it to 60 frames a second, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, so you don't miss half the games, half the show, because mm -hmm. you will, because that's the way the Atari 2600 works. Oh, this cat. pixel. <laughs> no, it is start time, pack rat. Um, we have four games today, including um, two exclusives, which is very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days. Nice. This is a world exclusive, Yay. huge update, pretty much a whole new game. Really? From when we played it last time. Wow. Before okay, he's cool. revamped everything. We'll nice. get into that. Nice. Um, and Atari 2600 Soccer. And you're like, we just played that. Well, big updates. Um, and we're going to be playing One Line by Atari 2600 Land, a very, very fun, simple uh, puzzle game. Cool. And we'll be playing uh, more Million Molly, because we've got an update on that, Yay. exclusive update. Does it do the rewind? It does the rewind. Yay. That's what we're going to be checking out, is <laughs> the re complete restart rewind feature. Nice. Because as the levels progress, they're going to get more complex, mm. and you maybe don't want to restart from scratch every time, mm. especially if you make... Oh, that cat. <laughs> One simple <laughs> mistake, and you, and you just want to rewind. You go, oh, I didn't want to. I didn't mean to destroy that boulder or whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dianoi, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Cuba 6969, Mark Space Inc. MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Matt Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Sir Catleg, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Estramirs 2008, The D Train 37, Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And you can get your name on this list as well and support the show and subscribe for free. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do a thing. Well, you do have to do one thing. You have to click, link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime yeah. and click subscribe, but it is free if you have amazon prime so why not do it yeah why not and if you don't hear your name on the list and you were on the list that means your subscription ran out so just click again mm -hmm. um and make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on twitch and youtube and facebook and instagram and twitter because i announce things coming up and little news items and things like that so make sure you do that um, yes, very bad kitty. <laughs> he's a very naughty cat, and he knows he's a naughty cat uh, because he does it when we start the show, not not too much before. Oh no, he's fine. And then the <laughs> moment James flips the switch, he's like, "Ah ha ha!" I'm gonna jump, jump on the Atari. Jump, 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 jump. I'm yep. gonna jump in the camera. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's... Welcome all the people who are watching live. So mm -hmm. if you haven't watched live. It is a very different experience because you get to talk directly with us mm -hmm. and all the people in the chat, the developers. He thinks it's his job. It it pretty much, yeah. He's yeah. like, it's my job to annoy you. Yeah, create drama. Yeah. He's drama. a drama creator. Yeah. Yes. Uh, welcome D-Train, Estramir's 2008, <laughs> uh, Leo Scanty, Leo Scanty, Packrat VG, Carl G, Captain Classic, Thrust 26, Kev Kelly, and everybody else who is lurking. Yes. Uh, welcome to the live show. Uh, this is Sunday. We broadcast Wednesdays and Sundays mm -hmm. for the next little while, at least anyway. Hopefully at some point, you, you know, a couple During of people During the can, lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. People can start to come over a little bit and you can you can open it up to yeah. uh, Erlen and maybe even Darcy if he's traveling back and forth. So. Well, he is traveling back and forth, but... Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So. And I did talk with Erlen uh, yesterday. Yeah. So we'll figure out when they both can come back and infect yeah. us and spread yeah. germs. And we'll <laughs> yeah. see. We'll see when that happens. Yeah, but exactly. It's not yet. It's not yet. No, but but um, I, could be very soon. It could be soon. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. Yeah. Um, so uh, mail news and feedback. Uh, the RGB Atari is on its way mm -hmm. to Nathan Strum for emergency surgery <laughs> to restore back it to full health yeah. um and i'm also tracking the s video modded atari 2600 being sent all over from al from atari age mm. um so we can upgrade the output nice while we're waiting for the rgb nice. atari to get fixed very so nice yeah, thank that's you very nice. so much to both yeah. al and nathan 
for helping us out make it look the best it can yeah. possibly be. Yeah. I really do miss the RGB Atari. It was so nice. It oh, was so, so clean. Nice and so clean. Gorgeous. gorgeous it's just gorgeous. a shame that something yeah. something happened there. So Airline and Darcy are doing very well. We um, yeah. we talk with them uh, frequently. Yeah. Um, um, over video chat. So yeah. And it sounds like you may be getting a seventy eight hundred multi card. Oh, what? What? Is there an update? Because <laughs> I because I just posted like ten, like ten minutes ago. In the Millie and Molly um, uh, forum thread, mm. saying because somebody was saying, "Oh, why don't you play it on an actual seventy eight hundred? Well, it's it's a binary right now. Yeah, Millie yeah. and Molly, and the only only way you can play a binary on a system, just yeah. like the Atari twenty six hundred, is if you have a a cart, a multi cart that you can load it into, whether it's flash, oh, yeah. or it's an SD card. Yeah. And I said I would definitely play it on but, a seventy eight hundred. <laughs> but those are hard to find, right? Like the yeah, seventy eight hundred multi carts being yeah. made right now. Yeah. There is a one from a long time ago, Cuddle Cart Two, one of them. Yeah. And there's one coming up, but that's not ready yet either. It's, it's not Concerto released yet. Cart. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna refresh, and see. Oh. S. Ramirez says he uh, got an email that his zero page homebrew shirt has been shipped. Oh, so that's excellent. That I don't know if good. mine has, ours has been shipped uh, yet. We ordered a number of items, so that might have slowed it down. But yeah. also, crossing a border is always a pain. Uh, anything I've ordered from somewhere down in the States has taken a really long time to get to us. So, yeah. It might take it, uh, you might get it before we do. <laughs> That is entirely possible. Yeah. Because it probably is shipping from the U.S. Yeah, yeah it would yeah. be shipping from the U.S. So um, unfortunately, yeah. it takes There a is while. a reply in that thread for Millie and Molly. And uh, Albert says, cryptically, I can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Excellent. I mean, I, I know that Albert can put games on cartridges. Yeah. I don't know whether he has a concerto card or whether he means like putting Millie and Molly on a cartridge. Yeah. And that's all that's there, and he has the tools to do that because that's that's kind of what he is able to do. He has special boards that he can load uh, one game onto. Yeah. So we will see what that means. Uh, I'll uh, get in touch with Al. Yeah. And uh, and talk to him about that because that's pretty pretty uh, pretty great actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, zero page. We we were sponsored by Atari Age for the uh, the mm -hmm. Homebrew Awards mm -hmm. uh, for the past two years. So. Mm -hmm. Technically, not this show. <laughs> when the new Atari comes, yes. kind of, it kind of will be yeah. as well. Because we'll be uh, using the Atari. Yeah, S. Ramirez, if you send us a photo, that would be great. Because oh, that would be amazing. I think it yeah. might take us a little longer to get ours than, than some, oh, of, some yeah. of you down down south. We might get couple, them a, lot, um, a, a bit faster. A week, a, faster, week so. ahead, a couple of days ahead. Yeah. But we're really but looking we, forward to we it. We ordered a bunch of things. so Yeah, I ordered yeah. one for Erlen and Darcy as well. And, uh, <laughs> no, I already told Erlen, actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so he yeah. was very excited about that oh good um i started on the graphics layout and pseudo code for my first game mm. first atari 2600 game the other day um so that is progressing nothing to show yet nothing to say yet um the, probably the first time i will show it is when i have um pretty much the basics of the game going and it's not too hard to get there but um you just have to hold tight till then um, I'll send a pic on receipt. Yes, please send yeah. pictures. Oh, and we're going to be sure. wearing them as soon as we get them, of, oh, course. of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is going on out there? Was that, that, that was my foot, but, oh, okay. but the ki the cats have been running around the house. Okay, that's distracting. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the Atari Age Forums, Intergalactic 419 posted, uh, first time viewer live. Thanks for the show. It was really fun. Looking forward to the release of Robot Run 2600. Mm -hmm. Uh, recently ordered an Aladdin 78, but I think I will need the Twin 78 for this. Any confirmation the Twin 78 double joystick will function on this to replicate the arcade setup, or do I need two Twin 78s to play the coming four-player sports games that were mentioned here? Both? <laughs> <laughs> um, the Twin uh, the twin 78s do work. Um, Ela Ed Ladin yeah confirmed, and a bunch of other people confirmed who also have the have the joysticks that the, the dual joysticks do work that they sell so that's good and yeah if you get two twin 78s to play with the quadtari that's coming out mm -hmm. soonish um then yeah you'll be able to play four player games or four individual joysticks that's fine as well <laughs> um 
how far is off the how far off is the quad tari uh don't know at this point um two play two games support it right now that are released uh galaga and uh wizard of war both support it mm -hmm. um and more games are coming with that the sports cool. games especially so you can play four players at yeah, once that's fun. those support two players plus the atari vox yeah. so it's it's a mix of whatever mm -hmm. can't wait for a rum of your game james me too <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see we'll see how good it is i mean if it's not good there's no point putting it on cartridge i'll wait for a better game that i make <laughs> um but i think if if all goes well it'll be a it'll be a fun game yeah um Arena Foot's here, Dan ABC. Welcome, Arena Hello. Foot. Welcome, Dan. Yeah. Um, Thomas posted in the Atari forums as well. I suppose now you understand why I cheated at Cosmic Art using electronics as a kid. Because what he did is he set up sensors that would sense when the asteroids would come. Oh. In all four directions. He put yeah. them on his television. Oh, that's funny. Um, I guess like he would turn off the either turn off the play field like the uh, star play field in the background yeah and it would sense when the asteroids would be coming cat's crazy and it would trigger the joystick movement hmm. so if it was coming to the right it would automatically trigger the right and that would only work up to a point too it did the electronics work fast enough um what's so you funny. wondering about cheating at cosmic arc it would work but you'd have to keep your energy up for each missed shot or meteor hit you lose some energy yeah but you gain energy on the meteor hit as well. The same amount as you lose. But you can still cheat by collecting one beastie, going back to the meteor shower, and it'll increase your energy, and then you can lose the beastie on the same planet again. Mm. But at that point, you can't progress. You won't get the 1,000 points. No. You'll get the just, 100, 200, 300 yeah. at a time, or whatever it is. Yeah. So it would just be a long It'd slog. It'd be a long a slog. And yeah. we calculated it out, yeah. and it would be hours. Hours and hours of doing that same thing back and forth losing I, a beastie shooting the asteroids losing it yeah and i think it's just one of those things that uh, yeah you could do but <laughs> it's, that's it's, not the it's not yeah. the point and no, i, I the, don't the think the most entertaining way of of getting a high score and i don't think i'll we'll be going back to cosmic arc okay. because pretty much at uh 10,000 points 11,000 points it gets to the point where unless you're like super expert at twitch games like pew, pew, super quick mm -hmm. you're not going to make it mm. it's just not going to happen so there's no point in trying for the thirty thousand unless you're going to cheat and if you're going to cheat it's going to take hours and nobody wants that <laughs> um s ramirez posted in the atari age forums i think you should add reveal hidden content section with links to all your retro gaming t-shirts <laughs> watching the replay of tonight's twitch stream and i love your asteroids t-shirt that yeah. was a nice one it is a nice one we we can't quite remember exactly where we bought it from either that's so. a problem uh, and i said yeah. i i love getting the uh, unique retro gaming shirts mm. um but there's no expos happening now so i won't be getting any new ones well, unless i find them online I, th I, I, f I didn't find a great selection of the really old retro style shirts at the la at PRG no. last time. It's less it's, it's, less. it's more modern retro games now. Yeah, it's the Mario, so it's, it's Zelda, it's it's more modern stuff. Yeah, um, anime so related it's, stuff. And, it's a and little hard to find. It is hard to find. Um, um, online is still better. Like those print on demand sites are probably the a best. A lot more place. variety. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they don't have to print a batch of 20 or 30 up. They just zero up yeah on demand um so and and also the fact i don't know where i got a lot of them <laughs> yeah because they don't have the name tags in a bunch of them well even that uh, it, the yeah. name tag in it is probably like fruit of the loom like it's probably yeah. the fabric not the actual and printer, even if it so. did have the name some yeah. of them don't have stores they only sell at the the retro expos or in very specific yeah, places so. yeah um uh christopher posted on the zero page uh homebrew facebook be glad when my vacation time comes so I can binge watch the show. <laughs> so far behind on the episodes. Yeah. Plus, Miss Playing the Atari will definitely be ordering a t-shirt for Zero Page Homebrew nice. soon. Oh, nice. that's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you do order it, send us a photo. Yeah. So we can post it. That's really, really cool. Um, Atari 2008, post the Atari Age forums. I watched your live stream for the first time yesterday. Uh, made me glad to have a Twitch account. It was so much fun. Watching live will definitely be a new fun thing. I'm adding to my weekly routine. So if you're watching, hey, welcome Hello. again. Back. <laughs> um, watching you guys actually inspired me to play 2600 after. There you go. That's so cool. I didn't know you had the developers on the chat. 
We'll be sure to interact with them more next time. Well, here's your chance. VHFC, <laughs> I think, is here. Hopefully he's here. He might be or here. Or maybe he'll pop in later. He might be here. Yeah. We'll see if he pipes up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an NL there, Janzel NL, Netherlands. Nice. Um, so that is all the feedback and news. Nothing to open today. So we're going to get to our first game. Yay! Which is an exclusive world premiere. Premiere, it kind of is and kind of isn't because mm. it is an old game. It's Night Guy from 2018. But everything's changed. The graphics, the engine, the levels. So it's kind of a new game Yeah. based on an older one. Um, and we played the old one a number of times, like three or four times, and, and made it through, I think, most of the levels. It's a reboot. There's a good name for yeah. it. That's right. <laughs> that's so, what Disney uses for all of its so, basic, basically rehashing yeah, of all its old started films. again. It's a reboot. <laughs> um, so, actually, the good thing is you can play the old one and play the new one, and they have nothing to do with each uh, other. Well, the levels cool. are completely different. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah so it, Same principles, though? Is the... It's the same guy. Same guy. Okay. He's kind of renamed it. It's Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days. Okay. And the other one was not Castle Days. So Just I don't Night know if guy. he's treating them separately. Like like uh, one's uh, more of a sequel to the other Maybe. one? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. He, he, he says he's kind of restarting it with new graphics. Nice. Okay. So originally it was first posted August 6, 2018. And this one is from yesterday. Nice. It is fresh. Um, you can get the older versions. On the Atari Age forums, but okay. this one is not released yet. Um, he's pretty good about posting his his games in progress, so I'm expecting he's going to be posting it shortly after for everyone to download. Well, maybe not. Who knows? Um, so let's um, let's see. On so he first posted about this new version on May 18th. He said, "Night Guy in Low Res World was originally my first attempt." to program a platformer for the 2600 and my second attempt to program a game after primitive Draco back when I started to learn Vitari back in 2018. Now, after I remade the engine, I decided to rewrite it from scratch hmm. now with some humble Metrovania touch. Hmm. So let's check it out. Let me set this up. 2600. Good. Um, yeah, I don't need to get up. Oh, the interference. It's terrible. It's terrible. Let's try and make that. It's truly okay. just the plugs? It's shielding. Oh, oh, oh. I completely unplugged it there. Yeah, that would be it's, why. <laughs> it's a combination of shielding and, and internal grounding. and There, that's about the best it's going to be. It's not too bad. No, okay. There we go. I don't know if there's sound. No, it's so far. Night Guy Castle Days. Nice. That little VHZC um, intro there. So if there's no sounds, it is an early thing. Um, he may have put in the sounds from his other games temporarily, mm. but we will find out. Let me get this as a good level. Um, so let's get into it. There's your little dude. He jumps, he moves, he jumps. He's got a beautiful yes. castle there. VHZC is really good Look at at, that. at tall, vertical, detailed. Jump on the tree. Go back. Jump on the thing. Try and get on that. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, little fire guys. Those those are great <laughs> animation. They look. Um, I mean, they look like every fire guys, but um, really good. And oh, and they follow you just like oh. You, Oh, that kind of blocks the exit, plus gives you... Uh-oh. It's a timed one. What? <laughs> oh, no. Already too hard for me. Oh. <laughs> ah, uh, I just Ooh. made it. Just yeah, I don't think time. there's any sounds in this. Cute. Oh, you can jump on the flag? I don't think you can. No, no Mario moves in this one. <laughs> oh, great little skull. Oh, springs. Cute. <laughs> boing, boing. Boing. Yeah, look for extra lives, extra hearts. He does program those in. No, he didn't go on this other side. Oh, that's, okay. that's okay. I have the sense. Maybe. Oh, a snake that follows you. Then, so great. Okay. Oh, and a... 
I want to say treasure chest there. Oof. Oh, Ooh, there's a couple of different avenues, but can I get past the snake or will the snake just kill me? Well, you could try and jump over it, but I bet you, I bet he'll kill you're me? not supposed oh, to. No, oh, you can't. no, there's okay. no way. It's not high no, enough. No, he doesn't, doesn't jump off the screen. I think you need some sort of weapon. And since he's a night guy, I think he's probably going to go back to the lance that he had uh, originally. Oof. Oh, Oof. goodness. Oh, this Those looks look like steam whistles or rockets or uh, kind of lances. Oh, God. Oh, oh, he can do the slide. Ah! Oh, he changes. So you're going to have to duck and jump. Oh, oh my goodness. What are those? Crystal balls? Yeah, they're very cool. Maybe he's a friendly snake. He could be a friendly snake. He could yeah. give you he could give you a uh, hints or a gift. A gift. Of a bite. Ah, oh. now I can kill a snake. Da, da, da. Ah. Oh no, it's a trap. But now you have a lance. Oh, there's music now. Oh nice. So he shoots and you have to get him. I thought I got him. Oh, there's a good advantage point. It's funny because you don't... You have to run into him. There you go. Yeah, you just press down and mm. run into him. It's not pushing down. You just run into him. Oh, really? Yeah. It, your your sword is out oh. when you run into him. Oh, so it automatically comes out when you run. Oh, that's good. That's not bad. There we go. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> There's somewhere this something this way too. Oh, more! Oh, that looks like a health potion. Oh, watch out, little pets. Oh, <gasps> yep. Yeah. It's a big heart that? at the top. Okay, there's something that way, but there was a treasure chest back the other way. Yeah, I would go back to the treasure chest because I that was kind of a dead so. end treasure chest. Uh, end boss, nice. Oh, welcome VHZC. <laughs> <laughs> did you just fall in the pit? Yeah, I don't <laughs> even know how I did that. So as as. Uh, the uh, message that I read out in the beginning. We do have developers here. Ah, oh, you have to run into him. So we've got VHZC, um, the developer for uh, <laughs> Night Guy ah, in Low Res World, uh, Castle Days. Very fast. So if you do have questions for him. Oh, oh no. Terrible. It's my turn. Actually, it didn't do that badly. <laughs> but uh, it, uh, it, it is very much like. Um, Ninja, ninja guy in low res world as far as the movement there. which way here yeah because he's using the same engine there the top one yeah okay you want me to see where it was posted no uh no just just the statement uh yeah you can read that yeah no can't get on the flag it's too far <laughs> uh no can't climb up or maybe you can let's see no, it's not so much. So, Night Guy in Low Eyes World was originally my first attempt. This is from uh, VHZC. It was my first attempt to program a platformer for the 2600 and my second attempt to program a game after the primitive D Draco. Back when I started to learn Batari back in 2018, now after I remade the engine, I decided to rewrite it from scratch, but now with some humble Metroid. You've already said this. Well, yeah, Metroidvania that's what he touch. posted publicly, though. Okay. So. Oh, my God. Uh, I just completed the first early beta of the new Night Guy, and I think maybe you are interested in the exclusive. This is this is what he wrote to you. Right. Um, and then, well, I am trying to give it a mild Metroidvania touch. You need to obtain items to access the previously unreachable zones, like the key in Ninja Guy, but with more items. Sword, keys, torch, switches. Very nice. Uh, and screens with different possible paths, which is is obvious. You can see that there's different yeah. paths. You can go right and left, and that's that's pretty cool. And you can go back mm -hmm. as well to previous screens if you want to. There will not be a score system, but a, a item you have to obtain to finish the game. So basically, you have to get everything you need in order to get to the end. And he is numbering the uh, screens. Oh, Look, it's the rooms. Four, ah. five. So that's really, really that nice. That makes a lot of sense. So you can make notes, I guess, if you need to go back mm -hmm. to a screen. It's like, oh, that's on screen five. That's on screen six. Ah, VHZC uh, says, just the first boss. Um, it will have three or four. I just completed the second boss pattern some minutes ago. So he's oh. working on it as we are playing, which is oh. amazing. Um... Uh, 
I am really trying to make good sprites and I am using a black background to use shadows and dithering mm. effects in the sprite design when, uh, when possible. Yeah, you can see it yeah. on the night guy. He, he's got the uh, helmet yeah. where you can see through it. I love and that. And on the balls, you can oh, see the, balls the shading. Oh, the balls look lovely, yeah. So that does provide opportunities yeah. for that. Yeah, you got to get this guy. So you just have to run into him. Yeah, the sword's out when he's moving or jumping. Oh, that's, that makes it so much easier. You don't need an extra button or weirdness, like to no. press down or something. Yeah, you don't need extra buttons, which is So good. you're always on the offense. Yeah. This is a pretty good first boss, where it's not like, yeah, too well, difficult, and it kind of gets you used to the sword. fighting and the yeah. sword. Which, but it provides, you know, you have to jump over his bullets. It has a little bit of difficulty. So now I'm going to go back. Oh, he can. Yeah, yeah, you can. I got it. Uh, yeah. Does he come back? No. 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 Okay. They they start coming after you when you're going in that direction. No. Oh. <laughs> it, yeah, the timing's very tight on those. Yeah, because they Cause don't, they don't go, go down. down all the way. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my oh, no. <laughs> back to the beginning. <sighs> <laughs> Do you want to play? No, you can play okay. another round if you want. I, I love the sprites. I love the <laughs> fireballs. So yeah, because if you have the black great. background, you can do things like the the eyeballs and the skull. And um, and VH says he does his all his own artwork for his um, covers, for his games. Like you can see the graphics mm -hmm. on down below there <laughs> and the, night guy, uh, the night guy graphic like for his cartridge where cover is it right down this way yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course in the game as well get him can't get him oh that's right i'll jump him right now no doing better already yeah ah, forgot that he shot shot things yeah not too bad once you figure out that you just have to run into it. There you go. You can just get... jump the first one and go right for him. Oh, oh too quick. Oh, no. Oh, no. We do have to. Oh, it's all too timing. Crazy. Being Calm too crazy. Down. Calm down. There like we go. Like a crazy black and white cat. <laughs> running around. There was a potion on the other side of him. Oh, I should get that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're pretty low. There you go. I guess you can't fall into that pit. No, no, it's too narrow. Just some pattern. Ah, also, it has a sort of level system. Once you beat a boss, you got a potion that refills your HP and gives you extra HP. Right. Nice. Oops. Well, it's okay. Ah, duck. Oh, I can't shoot. I oh, can't. he keeps coming back. Oh, if you don't get him. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes oh, sense. my God. They're hard. Oh. Oh, oh you slide too. Yeah, that happened to me. It's just joystick is starting to die. It's, oh. oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> we're, we're both having trouble, sorry. We're both having trouble with uh, those guys. Narrow ledge. Mm -hmm. I have to adjust the spring in this joystick. Yeah, starting to you think pull that's to what the it left. is? Mm -hmm. Well, it is. It's moving. It's been moving mm -hmm. left for the last little while. It has, yeah, it has. When it's yeah, not it supposed has. to be. Just, just subtly, but yeah. Oh. Nice. Good job. <laughs> oh, oh, a key. Ooh. Oh, it's got an inventory little nice. I, uh, thing down there. That's very, nice. very nice. Oh, it's very slippery. Um, chest. <laughs> you can't stay on it. No, oh, even it pushes you, you away. Even if you walk to the right, it. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, it's very slippery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he comes back. Die. I wonder if they always come back. I don't know. Yeah, that no, guy he does. does. Anyway. He drops down from the ceiling. Oh, little little blip there. Oh, they're just a. Yeah. Just when you first come on. Yeah. Oh, this again. You have to go through this three times. That is definitely one of the hardest. Yes. Get him. Yeah. Now, 
you almost have to anticipate those mm. um and jump more 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 <laughs> health please can i get up there no. oh oh god okay uh, just on that level oh, that reminds me of midrash guy and I'm pretty run. sure I won't be too. able to... Slide doesn't go any faster. No? Uh, wow. And I can't duck enough. So I just have to time it and go. Oh, oh no. Too far away. <laughs> too close. Too close. <laughs> there we go. Run. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. Wow. Nice. These are so like, nice. Like a sword? Like a sword on a chain. Very nice. Oh, it, it's very tight. Oh my goodness. I have like one health you might, left. You might want to duck and slide. Oh yes. Just so you get a little bit of extra. <gasps> no! <laughs> Blame the joystick. It is the joystick. Uh, it has a level system. Yeah. Minor enemies respawn. Okay. <sighs> oh no. It's a bad start. <laughs> it is a bad start. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm going to die on the first screen. No, <laughs> no. That would be bad. Oh. oh, hold still. Some flippiness has occurred. Major flippiness. Should come back. Or not. Nope. Nope. We're going to have to restart it. Oh, no. So okay. something went wrong on that yeah. screen. Yeah. That should just be the screen where you run underneath the, um, no, can't reset either. the treasure chest. Okay, hold it down. Yeah. So that doesn't happen every time, but it definitely happened that time. Yeah, funny. It's fast to load up. Okay, my turn. No. <laughs> I think I needed a reboot anyway, because I... Yeah. <laughs> Lost a bit wow. of life there. There you go. Mm. Uh, yeah, you do have to kind of hurry back, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. You you don't travel very far in the air, and I think that's why it's Well, and you hit the ceiling too, depending on where the <laughs> ceiling is. It's like I need to get closer to that fire before I jump. There we go. Yay. Yeah. Like they change color when they're activated. Mm-hmm. It's a nice touch. So here. Yeah. That's when know. it that's when it screen went. Screen five, yeah. There's nothing on that screen other no. than the So something funny happened. Yeah. Something to look into. <laughs> yeah, you have to jump like as they're coming down. That's pretty much perfect. You're jumping while using an armor. Uh, you can't jump high. Ah. Stuffing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shipping stuffing. Fell down. Gravity. Always get you. Jumping, jumping with armor would be very difficult. Really, really heavy. Oh, oh no. and I'm dead. Oh, well, here. <laughs> you get further that time. <laughs> oh, those fires. I don't know why I was having so, so much trouble with them. Yeah. Just getting too close. Yep. They Maybe. Are, I can't hot. quite tell if they I burn. have had too much coffee or I need more. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's usually one or the other, but there is a, a sweet spot, so. <laughs> Just enough Just coffee. enough caffeine in my system. <laughs> I, uh couple weeks ago had to get up really early for work. I don't usually work shifts or anything mm. like that. 
Um, but I had to get up and be in for like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah. And I was trying to figure out the ultimate level of caffeine because <laughs> I had to go in for a few hours, but then I wanted to come home and sleep if I could. So I was like looking up online the amount in milligrams of caffeine and various drinks oh, so I could yes. not have less than a cup of coffee, but have a little bit just to kind of keep me awake for a couple of hours and in the end I settled on green tea okay. which has about a third of the caffeine of a cup of coffee. I'm very analytical about Leave these that. things. You're not yeah. getting the... Mm, pretty full right now. And uh, Well, what if you die? Well, that is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it worked out perfectly. Really? Yeah, I was quite surprised that... Um, no, Cafe Man 2D. Yeah, Cafe Man would say you need more coffee. <laughs> more coffee. Uh, <laughs> it's always more coffee. Uh, but Never it less. worked out perfectly. So that's going to be, if I ever have to do Stop that it, again. Joystick. If I ever have to do that again, I now know my uh, solution to... <laughs> is tea? Green tea? Uh, staying up for, you know, three hours in the middle of the night is going to be green tea. So. <laughs> Slippery chest. Hey, and the key. <laughs> I will get some more coffee in a little bit. And defeated. I want to see how far you get, though. So far, so good. And I left the extra bonus. I don't think it fills you right up. I don't know. Oh, there's sounds there. There's some sounds. V8, uh, VHZC. I don't want to shame anybody, but my beta tester is my nine-year-old son. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Hey. You know what? You're not shaming anyone because um, I, I personally feel like there is no better game player than like a 10-year-old. <laughs> yes. um, like watching my, my nephew, who's, I think he just That's turned 11. I think so. Watching him like, and how quickly he, he starts playing a game. Like, yeah. he gets the controls, he gets the actions. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> so, okay. I don't think that shames anyone, personally. <laughs> I don't pick up controls. Okay, not too bad. I don't pick up controls like I used to. Like, oh, uh, yeah. you play a game, like especially especially game? modern games, like on the PS4 and Yay. things like that, where they switch around the button controls all the time, oh. and you have, you have the two... It's no standard. The yeah. two joystick system, and there's no standard... I love the blue floor in this. Nice. It's like, it's like a fancy floor. Are you going through the door? Yeah, because I've got the key. Yeah. Does Woo! it disappear? Nice. Oh, it does disappear. I like the little music. Um, oh, no, another one. Ooh. There we go. Very good. Do so go. he did say that there's only 15 screens. Oh, no, he's put in 16? more. 16? He's put in more. Oh, cute. Oh, I cute like but the deadly. Slime. Cute but deadly. Can I stab it? Nope. nope. Slimes are not for stabbing. <laughs> Slimes are for dying. Yeah, thrust 26. Anything more than two buttons or so is my cup of tea. Yeah, and... <laughs> more and than two buttons. I, I... Whoa! Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. VHZC. Wow. Oh, no, which way? Oh. I don't think I can pass that <laughs> without doing something Probably else. have to go along the top. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, maybe you can go back that way when you've passed oh, yeah, a certain... for sure. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? The, uh, yeah, when... And then you switch between games. Oh, You switch between games and the controls are different and my brain just can't switch over that quickly. Right. Like, it's just, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm always amazed at kids and <laughs> how quickly they adapt to things. <laughs> the slime rules. Yeah. 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 It's the deadliest thing in the whole game. Janzel NL says, awesome, I really like this game. And I agree, I, it's just beautiful. It looks really, really good. Oh, these games are so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, oh, I recognize this, these little, like, line heady kind of guys from Ninja Sky. Yeah, d differently redesigned. Ooh. Same uh, kind of principle. Well, no, same same enemy, but just different Ooh. different screen, right? Oh, oh. oh, no, is it timed? Don't be timed. Hopefully not. I'm going to wait here. It would give you so much time, though. Mm. Oh, my God. Did I just waste it? No. I bet it's no, an on-off. I think it's an on-off. Because it's so far back. <gasps> oh, oh, you got to get all the... Oh, oh you can't jump jumped. on him. You do have to run. Yeah. 
Neat. Oh. Oh, it's off. Okay. As it should be. Okay. Oh my goodness. So many things I have to go oh. through. I've got like two. I, I love how. Damn it. One left. You got your potion in the end, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oof. Oh no! Oh god. You start over again. I'm gonna get a coffee and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Well, you go no through. timer. Okay. Early levels. I will defeat it. Boing. Boing. Now we go get the sword. Each time I get better, so not that bad. Makes it faster each time. As long as my joystick doesn't mess with me. The joystick pulled to the left there. That's why I went to the right. It was messing with me. Yeah, I do definitely need to fix this joystick. Because that is not good for playing games. Oh, VHZC has to go for a little bit. See you in a bit, VHZC. Thank you so much. Passing this game on to us for it to play. Now I've got the key. Back I go. Hello, Atari. Stab. Bouncing balls. Oh. Potion gave me, oh, a little bit, a little extra bonus. And I don't think I got hit, did I? Oops. This guy is such perfect timing you need for that one. Since he said he had to run, so. Yeah. yeah. So good. So very good. Mm -hmm. Love his games because he puts out so many platformer games and it's one of my favorite genres. Yeah. It's probably my favorite. I genre. think you do. You like platformers yeah. a lot. Don't yeah. touch the slime. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've already made one. it pretty far. Jeez. That didn't yeah. take you long. No. Well, you get faster. <laughs> now, once you know the level, on. right? Yeah. Oh. Yep. So then you have to go through. Yeah. Hi. Are you helping? A Is little he bit. helping? A little Is he bit. purring? He's providing encouragement. Yeah. And yeah. and softness. And softness. And cat fur. And a lot of cat fur. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, such ornate stabby things. Yes, oh, they're beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful stabby things. Yeah, VHZC is probably the master of long vertical graphics. He employs mm. them really well in a lot things of his Things jumping games. up and down and the balls and the And one he had a fish that was um Jumping, jumping around. That goes around. down? Yes, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, that one's really good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to head back. I'm not going to think about the timing. There we go. That's much faster. This is where I died last time. But we won't do that. Oh, bad joystick. And 
<laughs> no. Oh, more of these guys. Yeah. Lower level now. Jump. Stop. So, so There nice. we go. Now we're on to a new level. Ooh. Level 22. Empty. Or is it? It's your favorite. It's a dark level. <laughs> no. Is it? No, it's not. It might be it's the just end. Empty. 22. It might be the end. Is there anything? Can you go? Oh. oh. Oh, disappearing platforms. Oh. Very. Oh. Very oh, Mega see. Man. Okay, what's the pattern? They just back Not and bad. forth. That's fine. Okay. Uh, uh. Nice. You have to get it, to the second one. It does pause for the second one uh, to show not up. Not much. Not much, but it does. There is a brief period of time when they're both there, so you can wait until the other one shows up. <laughs> I guess you, if you're at the Yay. end, you can still jump over it. Yeah. Uh, so what is this? It's a uh, trowel. Uh, maybe spear. Mm, hmm. Sorry to say. Ooh, I have to go back over them. Okay. Ooh, I should have gone faster. <laughs> oh, no, you're okay. <gasps> Why did I do that? I <laughs> So it's the same arrow. pattern. Back. Yeah, maybe an arrow. Oh, Nathan Strum. Welcome, subscribed Nathan. To Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Yep. And a beta. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he has an end of beta screen. <laughs> That's someone who really wants everything to just look really nice and cohesive, yeah. right? Like, it's the end. <laughs> it's like you'll never see that screen ever again. Yeah. But, well, you could put it again in just a different screen. I guess you could wander yeah. around. The D train. That is hilarious. S. Ramirez, nice screen. I love it. End of beta. Wasn't displaying the level that... number or something suggested? Yeah, they did suggest that for another game. And, and now that he doesn't have a score, he can put it another in. Another t-shirt I would love to have. End of beta? <laughs> End of that's beta. Not a bad, that's not a bad uh, yes. saying to have on there. Yes, I love it. I love it. That's great. Da, da, da. Oh, oh my God. See what I did? Yeah. Because I jumped in the air. Ooh, I want to do that again. You jumped off the screen. Oh, you're back at that level. Ooh, careful. I want to go back to that. I want to try that again. The end of beta? Oh, you have to go through this again, though. That is hilarious. I love it. I want to jump in the air and go to the top. Oh. It's not the end. I can still mm -mm. play. <laughs> oh, this, this is permanently end of beta. That yeah. is funny. So if you go back here, you're on the bottom. Yeah. If you go like this, you're at the top. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a shortcut. Uh, it's a wall glitch, wall hack. Nice. <laughs> I like that. That is awesome. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, very unambiguous. It's uh, like, no, that is the end. Yeah. Um, bug. Yeah. Easter egg. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call yeah. it an Easter egg. Easter egg for the, for the beta. Yeah. yeah. Um... Okay, so that is excellent. excellent. It's amazing, excellent. as yeah. per usual. It's yeah. a really good engine he's made for that yeah. for his games, mm -hmm. for the platformers. Um, and if you like that game, uh, def if you like this game, the look of this, you can definitely check out the older version of it. You can mm -hmm. check out uh, also uh, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. You yeah. can check out Peril as well. And he's got some non-games non like this. Roach in Space. Um... And I ran as well, which is also fairly new. Um, it's got a lot of games. And Do Re Mi, a fast-paced. Oh yeah. If you like Cosmic Arc, you like Do Re Mi Do -re -mi. as well. Yep, same. Same type of game. Uh, no, there, there is no ROM yet. Not no. Yet. There's an old, old version of this, which is completely different. Yeah. Um, I am guessing he will be posting something soon. Yeah. Soon, because he usually does for every single game. Well, yeah. yeah, even just this one with the so you can play yeah. up to the end of beta screen. Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty cool. It yeah. is lots of fun. Yeah. So we're going to be going on to our second game, yeah. Atari Twenty Six Hundred Soccer, and we played this last episode, mm -hmm. and we thought it was great. But I really liked it. It yeah. had a couple things that could be improved. Well, it's very simple. It's very simple. It's very simple. Yeah. It was very fast moving. The ball was jumpy. A little bit. Um, it's a little hard to watch after a while, but yeah. And then Andrew Davy posted cool. the day after said, uh, after watching this uh, yesterday on Zero Page Homebrew and out rather being, being rather impressed with the graphics, mm -hmm. I was delighted to track down this thread and to see the source code had been released. Mm. 
Good thing because I was able to easily fix the bug in the ball movement and make some changes to my own taste. I've changed the grass color a bit, mm -hmm. refined the score digits. Uh, since author's permission was given to modify, I'm interested in continuing development of this clever title. Mm. So here's an updated binary of the first changes I did. There's a bug in the second player pieces which are moving when they shouldn't be. But for now, uh, the improvement in the ball movement actually makes this fun to play, even though you're effectively playing without an opponent. You can, st you can actually play without an opponent because the ball just bounces all over the place. Mm. I hope to do some more changes soon. After I've cleaned up my changes, I will continue to release the source code. Kudos to the original author for some excellent, in my, in, and in my view, quite unique work. And then he posted, I've been doing some more work on this today. Uh, new scoring display digits, new goal score with a big, uh, with color background to indicate the player that scored. Mm -hmm. uh, grass colors revamped. I removed the black H move bars on the edge of the screen because they're down the left. Mm -hmm. Currently, the goalies are thus mispositioned. There's a consequence of the above, but I can probably fix it. Mm -hmm. Players only animate when moving. I've changed the ball moon movement, of course, now smooth. I've added fractional ball movement speed, which is really good and incremented it after each goal scored. It gets hectic quickly, so it gets faster the longer it takes for you to score. To score. Oh, okay. So it's an incentive to score. Okay. Um, I found the bug causing the player two sprites to move when not commanded to, but I've not fix, fixed this yet, as it's tricky with the code as it's currently written, but I know what it is, and I'll definitely fix it tomorrow. But having a bit of fun with this, it's the first time I've played with a kernel that's not single line. Hopefully I'll be able to release a binary and updated source very soon. What attracted me to this was the large sprites and very clean display. I've tried to keep that feeling. Then he posted on Saturday. Here's an updated binary with fixed movement codes for both players. Should be very, play very playable as a two-player game now. I finally understood what the existing code was doing. I've adjusted the ball speed, and as a special treat, the ball speeds up imperceptibly whenever it touches a player. Mm. So if you find a suitable opponent, you can keep it playing long enough, it gets really fast and difficult. Mm. Speed resets whenever there's a goal. Just to show it off, though, for the video, I disabled the goal scoring and let it rip. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can watch the videos on there. Should uh, Still would like to get rid of those H-move bars, but the code is fighting me on that one. Mm. And then he posted, uh, yesterday, fixed a scan line inconsistently. Consistency, changed the ball speed up down a notch, now allowing longer rallies, and he posted the source code. Mm. And I read that all out because it's a two-player game. Yeah, so you can't read it and play it. <laughs> yeah. And you can download this one. Press the button. You can download this one right away if you like this game. Switch that over. There we go. This is from today. Very, very new. Very new. And it starts right <laughs> No button. I'm red. Okay. I'm blue. So there's no button. And you just, it's, it is like foosball. So if you touch, you to touch the goal. Okay. <laughs> you are winning two to one. <laughs> uh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the key is definitely watch your goalies. Oh, getting faster. Yes. Goal sound to be a bit less harsh. Oh, it might be a bit loud. more like a crowd cheering kind of noise. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely that's what it's been to But it is. I don't know how you can make that less harsh, but... Oh, come on. I blocked it fair and square. I don't think so. Uh. I don't think so. It's such a great little game. It really is. It's like... Yeah. The movement of the ball is much improved. It's so yes. smooth now. Yeah. yeah, it was very, very jittery. And it's slower, which is nice when it starts off. Because it's like you can actually play it, rather than it's just... It was going nuts all over the screen. Oh, now 
not speeding up. Ugh, oh, it's making boy. me dizzy. There we go. <laughs> Uh, that's what I thought too. The focus should stay on the goal when it's scored. Um, and for a bonus, if it's possible, ooh, 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 keep it in there. Uh, um, scroll slowly back to the center after the goal is scored. Is it fast or? It just, it just jumps immediately yeah. as soon as it's scored, which is a bit jarring. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's all, all right, right, but it, I find it a bit jarring. Oh, oh you weren't even paying attention. Well, I was, but... I thought it might bounce back to the other guy. Oh. Um, and when the game just starts when it gets turned on, right? So pressing the button to for the first kickoff would be good. The automatic starting in this part is fine when you have to score a goal. I think that's very fair. And I don't know if the game ends or just keeps counting forever. Oh, nice. which is fine because you never know what goal you want to like. Maybe you want to do it to 20 or maybe you want to do it to even just like five. So that's not too bad. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You never go for the um, the ball at the beginning. You realize that, right? Oh, oh, I can go for it. Yeah, you have oh, to be no in front I'm, of it. You always get it. I I know. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's not random. I thought it was just giving it to you. Yeah. I can't touch it. Oh, do I always have the advantage? Uh, Maybe. And that's very un. You do look at. I can't touch it. It always kicks backwards. That's mm. it should be moved. So if you're to right, the opposite person. Okay, what I'll do is I'll get out of the way for the yes, next one, please. and <laughs> then we'll see what happens. Like, it should be positioned so what I'm touching it, so it kicks it towards well, your goal. Yeah. And and the opposite for whoever. I could okay, swear. Get out there, don't touch it. Don't touch okay. it. Don't touch it. No, it automatically goes back. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So you'll notice it bounces in the goal sometimes, and then it doesn't register as a goal. What? No. So, never. No. no, it does. It no. does. So if you block it, you block it. Like, okay, I'm not gonna do anything. You try to get it into my goal. Now, now, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it can happen. Um. Okay. So bounce it to my goal. Okay. Because I could swear it bounced to the bottom. No. And it doesn't register. Whereas if you block it as a goalie, it usually doesn't bounce right to the bottom. But maybe that's not c correct. Maybe it's within a, so many pixels of the goalie, so it doesn't register it as a goal. I like, you see, it bounces sure. off my head. Okay. Right? As the goalie sometimes. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it's getting real fast. <laughs> Because that bounced to the bottom, but I, I was, I kind of interfered with it, so I guess, I'm not even trying now, I'm just trying to see <laughs> with the goalie. If you touch it, it just automatically goes the opposite direction, that's, hmm. that's how it works. If you touch it. If you touch it, it just changes direction. So I just have to, I just have to be somewhere around where the ball is. You just have to touch the ball. It doesn't matter if, if it's... It doesn't matter what direction it's going. You just touch the ball and it goes the opposite way. direction. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it... Not necessarily. It'll, it'll bounce almost to the bottom of the goal, but if I'm close to it... Yeah, it always goes back. Yep. <laughs> no matter what. You always... I, I always have the advantage of the kickoff. Playing with somebody kind of that's not as good as you, that. you can give them the red red guy. Player one. Player yeah. one is a huge advantage. Red plays with the head and blue plays with the feet. Oh, okay, that kind of 
kind of makes sense, but that's not necessarily true of the goalie. Hey, Andrew. Hey. Got some suggestions already. Well, not suggestions, but... Oh. Suggestions. Much improved. Yeah. It's like, it's like really, really playable. Yeah. Now. Especially with the, the slow start, and then it speeds up. It's, it's so if I'm out of the way and your head, no, it always goes back. It always goes back, eh? Hey? Yeah, red has advantage. Red has advantage at the, at the beginning, the way? right? Move out, the way? Move out of the way of it? Oh. No, but I did. Okay. Yeah. Because um, it always touch. even if red's not it touching it. It always kicks it, back to the blue blue goal. Yeah, always. To the blue side. No matter who scores. Yeah, don't touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, not that it matters too, too much, really. No. no. Well, yeah, it does. I'd like to have it on my side for once. <laughs> yeah, but it kicks back pretty easily. Yeah. I'm, I guess not, I could, I'm not really trying right now. I, I just guess I could plan with my defense to kick it back, but I'm still a man down disadvantage. What is the maximum score? Um, not 23. <laughs> I think it just goes on forever. Maybe it's 25? It's a high scoring. It's um, high scoring uh, soccer game. Yeah, 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 high scoring. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Yeah, one of the suggestions was not to instantly reset to the um, center line, but to like leave it for a bit. At the goal and then flip to the center And then center flip line? to the center. Or to, if it's possible, I know it's a 4K ROM, so it's probably not possible, to slowly move back to the center and it, and it shows goal. That would be like really, really slick, but it may not be possible to do that. This is so cool though. Oh my god. It's such a simple and, and <laughs> fun game. Like like anybody can pick it up and play it. It's just left and right, and you just touch the ball and it goes towards the other goal. That's it. Mm -hmm. And it's got huge sprites, which really nice sprites that have... Yeah, Andrew, Dave, you remember I only saw, first saw this title last show. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 oh, yeah. we're very impressed. No like, rush. Don't... don't uh... It, like, it, it looks like it's great it's really as it is. Great. It's a huge improvement. Yeah, it's great. It's just so nice. It's so nice and it's so simple. And is there two colors on the same line? Mm. Like the blonde looks like he has a mullet. It does look like he has and a I mullet. Think he does. I think it's. No, Be I. Because the, the brown has it too. I think it's just some color deviation in the. Could be, but yeah. it's it's totally it possible. It does look to, like he has a mullet. Like there. there's no reason you can't have two colors on the same line. But you see, look at that. Look at the red guys. They have brown hair, so they have that yellow stripe as well. I think it's just our screen. Oh, uh, maybe uh, it's bleed. It's bleed. Composite color bleed. Yeah. Get it. Ah. Uh, uh. If you're fast enough, you can keep the uh, ball against the goalie quite well. Oh, yeah. But you have to shift players. You can't just use the same player because you hit a wall. So you have to really, just like just like foosball. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We're pretty high. <laughs> 30. Oh, I would have thought I would have stopped by now, but anyway. uh, Yeah, Carl G says, you made it better enough for people who want to make more suggestions. Yeah, yeah exactly. Better. That's... Even better. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really... We need refs at a crowd now. Yeah, yeah. On the screen. <laughs> people are, are really... Um... And an uh, animated scrolling goal it goes goal. Desperate, desperate for sports <laughs> right now, so, you know. I think they might be. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, 32 to 25. Yeah, I think, I think, uh... Hey, Scott. Yep. Welcome. Yes, very much improved from last. It's the, the ball was the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, looked like it was, it was so glitchy and jumpy that it looked like playfield. Yes. But it wasn't, because playfield's green. Um... 
really nice for a two line kernel. Oh no! Okay. Expensive football. <laughs> this is very close to fitting into 2K. Oh, so you've got lots of room. Excellent. <laughs> lots of additions can happen. Are you trying for 2K? That would be that would be crazy. Could this kind of game fit in 2K? Oh, getting fast. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice. I think we're good on this, unless anybody wants to see us do something, but I don't think uh missed anything yeah i think i think i think we're at the yeah you just keep going. so to recap i think the suggestions were the sound of the goal which i find is fine it's, mm -hmm. it's just a crowd sound um just to hold it at the at the goal hold line. it at the goal for a bit yeah. then you can swap or to scroll back yeah the color of who scored is great mm -hmm. because it's more obvious mm -hmm. um, who scored i would say though It'd be nice to see the, the score when the goal flashes because you're not looking at the score when you're playing. So oh. when the goal comes up, it's like, what's the score? But it doesn't show it. So if there's a way to keep it on the screen with the goal. We could have the goal at the goal line. And then when it goes back to the center, hold for a bit on the score. And then have a kick. Yeah. Because... Because I always feel like I'm, I'm, I'm. I, okay, that's what's the I, score? What's the score? That's what I do too. I look up and I say, "What's the score?" Yeah. I don't know. And then yeah. it kicks off. Yeah, it kicks off really quickly. Yeah. So that would be my only thought, really. Yeah. Um, uh, just to keep the score somewhere on the screen. And I know he's trying to get rid of the H move lines, which are not a which big are the deal. Which lines? Those little black, the black lines. Oh, the black. Eight, oh, yeah, they... eight wide. Yeah. Um, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. They just look like something on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. Badly fertilized grass. <laughs> uh, yes, it will scroll back to the center. Yeah. Oh, also, the, oh, computer AI. Nice. Oh, that's going to be fun. I want to see how good the computer is. It's, I mean, all you have to do is move it to where the ball is, but wow. not too good because then it will always get the ball. So I'm con continually so scoring right now. Because it gets to your end first. Oh. Yeah, it's just the way their pattern is just bouncing the exact same uh, path. <laughs> Which is really funny. Boom, boom. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yeah. That's funny. You you over over I know. What kind of a soccer game has a <laughs> score of 42 to uh, yeah. 36? Very efficient so, offense. Press the button. Mm -hmm. People are always asking for what are some good two player games. So mm. that can be added to the list mm -hmm. for sure. Um, and good, good games play. for playing with kids too. That's yeah. that's a really good one Because it's nice too. and simple, yeah. Just yeah. jiggle the one uh, players out of the and the pattern will change. Yeah, no, but I kind of like that. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just a skilled player might have sl slower moving players. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Planning a maybe graduated player difficulty by changing the play of the speed of the player movement. Oh, very cool. So you can set handicaps or something. Mm -hmm. um, I think of it as virtual foosball rather than soccer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it is. It's it's foosball for sure. Yeah, it's it's because somebody suggested a bar at all the players because you know the foos bar foosball has bars going across, yeah. but I, I don't, don't think, think it's necessary. It. It's implied, yeah, rather than cluttering up the screen. Yeah, yeah, you don't need, need that. Them. Yeah. Um. So let's get on to the third game that we're going to be playing today, which is one line. Mm -hmm. And this is by oh no, nope, not that's, not gonna that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Fix that. Switch back. Which is by um, Atari 2600 Land, one of the most prolific programmers mm. for the Atari 2600. Mm. He has made literally hundreds of games. Um, usually 2 and 4K games. So really small, really simple games. Oh, he's got instructions here. Should keep that up on the screen. Uh, no, he's got. I've got that in my notes. Okay. Checked. Now, I'd, I'd never seen this puzzle game before. Put it down. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really hard to figure out on your on your own. Like just looking Without at instructions? it, trying to figure it out. It's like, mm. what do you even do here? Like, it's crazy. So, um, don't load it up yet. Okay. Let's just show 
what the game, where it came from, because this is a port of, of a game that was on the Nintendo DS and also on Game Boy Advance as well. So let's check out where it came from. We're going to take a look at the Game Boy Advance version of it. switch over so we can see this too mm -hmm. big that failed let's go back uh, okay let's start in on the game okay the Basic premise, that's very loud, um, of this game. Oh, is it not showing yet? Hmm. Oh, what's going on there? It's like playing it but paused at the same time. That's weird. Let's reload this screen. One second, people. I don't know what's going on here. It's like playing it but also not playing the music yeah and none of the visuals <laughs> let's just reload that oh that is where the sound is coming from there we go that's better let's see if we can fast forward properly this time yay okay the object of the game is to change them all to white or change them all to black okay. by drawing one continuous line so you see there mm. you change or whatever colors they're using red and white um, and so okay. there and you can use the gray to go outside okay and then you can come back in as well you have to start and end in the gray uh no you can start and end anywhere but you can just use the gray like there but you need one to go out. Line. Yeah. And they're changed all to white. Oh, and you can pick okay. either one. You can pick the white or the red to, to switch over. Oh, now when you can't go in the gray. Oh, because it X's it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think in the Atari one they'd X's out the gray. You okay. Can go into the gray. Yep. So that's the basic premise. And those can be either. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's pretty simple. Yeah. So I had not heard of that, um, this game beforehand. Mm. I've never seen that. This is a million puzzle games for, especially for the Nintendo. Okay. So let's load it up. Oh, the original code had some up and down movement for the players for the soccer. Interesting. Mm. I don't think that's helps at all. No. Just makes it. Okay. So load up the bin. So we've got multiple, uh, puzzles. So let's just start with the puzzle one. Hmm. So you've got a Z and you have to change either the Z. Oh, oh okay. No, I didn't realize this was the start of the game. I thought this was yeah. the opening screen. Okay, how do I restart? <laughs> Press the button to end here. There you go. So you can either change the Z gotcha. to all black or you can change the outside to all gray. Diagonal movement is not no, good. No, there's no diagonal movement. Ugh. There's no diagonal This movement? is not the easiest puzzle. So maybe I'll I'll give you start off with the easiest puzzle first. So we can get a uh, this one's probably the easiest. Uh Well, it's okay. You that one's that one's probably the easiest. I don't know. So there's no diagonal movement. There's no. It's just up, down, left, right. This may not be the easiest one. They're all about the same hardness. So on this, I would go for black for changing it. And there's no diagonal? That's there's weird. no diagonal.
Uh, so, Polarium is a puzzle game developed by Mitchell Corporation for the Nintendo DS. It was a launch title in Japan. Really? Europe and China. So we would have known about it a lot more in North America if it was a launch title. In the game, players use the stylus to draw lines on the DS's touchscreen, flipping back black and white tiles to clear puzzles. And he posted November 2016. So I took another stab at making a Polarian type game for the Atari 2600. I think I've succeeded this time. The trouble was trying to disable a movement to a square that has already been turned, as in the ga DS game Polarium. Well, it doesn't give you track of where you've gone so far. The squares do a flip on and off, and if you get stuck, you can just press the reset switch. What I do plan to do is Im it is, isn't implemented is press fire when you're all done, and the game will check and to see whether the rows are all on or off and give you a result. I want an 8K game, so I'd store the logic in bank zero and the different puzzles in bank one. What we have here is a test puzzle where all the squares are on. Move it around using the joystick. Not this one, obviously. You can't move back to squares you've already been. Oh, you can't? No, only once. Oh. Um, and he posted just recently, and while the, and, um, and this is what alerted me to it. He said, wow, it's been over three years since the last posted. I decided to clean up what I had. I also added a third puzzle. I was going through my computer files when I saw this and thought, the 2600 needs more puzzle games. Clean the code up even more. I put in a level drawing code in. With it, I can make 63 levels, but I doubt I will think up that many. So here's what I'm thinking. Bank one is the main game. Banks two and three, level storage and level drawing code. Bank four, a level editor, which is very cool. And in case you're wondering, yes, I need to have levels no bigger than eight, eight. So I only have so many variables to keep track of where you've been drawing one line. Suppose I could go to 9-8, but then I'd have to rewrite the main code a little bit. We'll see if I need to go to 9-8, but it's 8-8 eight, eight mm. for now. Figured it out yet? No. Okay. I, I, I'm, no, no. I, you've <laughs> done this already, so why I've would you play? I've only done one puzzle. <laughs> Just takes, it takes, yeah, I didn't realize. Uh... Soon that smile will turn sad. Yeah. <laughs> um... The most number puzzle I would have is 99 if I had room for that many. I don't know if I can make 99 puzzles. Just so you know, the name of the game is now One Line. I made some more changes and I added what I hope is a really nasty puzzle number 5. I had an impossible one that I spent a few hours trying to solve before deeming it impossible, but I made it possible with a couple of changes to it. I also added some sound effects changes. The way it looks now will probably be it due to the fact that it looks off on any other way I do it due to BB's score code and play field zero. And as far as I know, this is one of his only, if only, 8K games. He usually keeps it to 4K and under. He usually keeps up 4K, but he's made some 2K games as well. Um, so this is from yesterday. Other games he's made, Billy the Ball, Castle of Doom, Dr. Flynn and his Pills. Isaiah's Wee Chase, Jack and the Beanstalk, Killer Bees, Kirby 2600, Larry the Lemon, One Button Bob, Mid Space, Super Mario Sisters, Whitewater Madness, plus a thousand other games. And you can download this. How do you do this level? Well, Tanya gets this last try at it, and then I'm going to do it. I'm trying to figure out where you start and end, because that's what matters. It does. Because you can't go diagonally, which is weird. <laughs> it would be way easier if you could go diagonally. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I've figured it out. You have? Yep. No, you can do it then. <laughs> okay. Have like, you started have you already? Started no. no, I haven't. Okay. But you can't go back over that. Oops. Oh, you can go to the outside. Oh, see, I didn't realize you could go to the outside. Yeah, I said you can go in the gray. Well, no, on on the on the advanced game, you didn't say that that was the case with this. This is that Ooh, makes it a lot easier. I think I messed up there. I have to start over because I yeah. have to start. See, there. that would be easier if that was actually gray. So it's you gray? could no, the out outside was gray instead of black or white. Because you're oh, flipping everything between black and white. Well, there's limitations. So that's what confused me. Now, now that makes more sense. That makes it a lot easier. There's limitations. Yeah. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Puzzle three. So now we'll go back to puzzle, puzzle one. Okay. That's why that it's... That makes more sense there now. Uh, can you toggle a square three times? You can only toggle a square once. You can't go back over it. You can only do it once. So once you've done it, you can't backtrack at all. And that adds the difficulty in. So it's... You kind of have to trace a line 
over all the black and using the gray. I mean, you could you could change the white to black, but I think in most of the puzzles that I've seen so far that he's done, you're mostly changing the black to the gray. Um, but it's very, like, I had to watch, obviously, the, the Nintendo videos on this to, to wrap my head around it. And it probably the thing that threw me off is what threw you off, too, is the, the gray versus the gray in the center. Because you can't differentiate the two. <laughs> Scott of the Hall says, yeah, now it's so easy. <laughs> well, the, the, the happy face was definitely easier. I have to start here. Yeah, you do. And probably end at the other one. Can you go over as many side speed? Oh, you can. Hmm. Oh, you can't go back. No, you've already been there. Oh, on the edge, you can't go back. Can't go back to anything you've been at okay. before. Yeah, it's the... I think you have to start there and end on the other one. Oh, you can make it all black, too, right? <laughs> you could. It's yeah. not easy, because you can't... You wouldn't be able to connect the top and the bottom, because it's diagonal. Yeah, You'd start true. making things gray. It's true. If the outside could be represented with alternating black and white gray lines, that would make it more. It'd be easy to see where you. What's oh, happening? I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Would he be able to do that? No. Not easily, unfortunately. Not on the 2600. <laughs> Cart comes with a kit to upgrade your 2600 to three color screen. Uh, yeah, if you employed Andrew Davies' way of drawing things, you could do it with his tricolor method, I think. Close. I'm trying to figure out. Oh. <laughs> because then you could do the three colors and something could be either the one color the second color or the combination of the two colors that would work but is that possible in Batari Basic because that's what he's programming in it is all just play field the whole screen except for the bottom is all play field I don't know if that's possible. Okay, it's your last try on this one. <laughs> Why does it do that? Maybe I'm doing that wrong. No, I, you have to start in the middle. You do, yeah. And you have to end in the middle, too. Yep. Up one, over, all the way around, then mm. yep. all the way around, and then there's just a then, sneak, yeah. sneaky path. You have to get that last little... Could use quad-wide wi sprites for on-off squares. There you go. Yay! On-off squares and play field for big color. Quad-wide sprites. Oh. How do you switch you the puzzle? You could. Yeah, because it's only so far. This is the one we haven't done. This is the one I practice on, mm. so. Um, did I change the, what? I didn't do that. Um. Now, what did I change? 
Yeah, I changed it all to black, I believe. Yeah, that's definitely easier. Yes. But then how do you get into that middle square? Oh. Did I change it all to black? Because you wouldn't be able to get those middle two. No, I didn't change it all to black. I changed it all to gray then. Or white or whatever that's supposed to be. Yeah. How would I do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I did this puzzle. Oh my goodness. You can get, you can get... Like... Yeah, so... How do you do that? Uh... Did you, sorry, you... Yeah. Yeah. You can't go over yourself. Oh, no. You only have to change lines to a certain color. Lines? Hmm? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I got it. Right? No, that's not right. Lines to a certain color? Yeah, that's right. Horizontal lines. You only have to change the horizontal lines to all the same color, not the whole thing to oh. black. Well, then that, again, makes it a, a different game. <laughs> like that? Yes, that's right. That seems cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's the game. Oh, so the horizontal lines. Yeah. Well. I mean, you can change it all to black or change it all to gray. I think we were playing hard mode <laughs> on those other two puzzles. Yeah, you only have to change all one color to each horizontal line. It's a confusing game. Cute. Oh. So, oh boy. Use a quad wide sprite for the on off. So a quad wide would be four, which would match play field, and it would be eight across, which would match that. Oh, that's right. And play field for the background color. Oh, that's perfect. That would be great. I don't know if that could be done in Vitari Basic, but that would be a perfect solution for it. Change the second line to all gray. And then the third line to all black or all gray. Which I have no idea how you're going to do that. Yeah, you get eight off on pixels total, which would be eight play field pixels wide. The game uses eight play field pixels wide, so it would fit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great solution for that. And you can make it as tall as you wanted <laughs> with that with that method, too. I mean, 8x8 would be nice, so it's all symmetrical. Hmm. I'm just looking right now. Okay, my turn. Okay. you have an idea? <laughs> nope. Um, starting and ending on that. Oh, hmm. I'm thinking like you would go down somehow like that and then up and use that as a path to turn, change those gray. Yeah, no, I think that's what you have to do. Like you have kind to of create something a path. like this. Yeah, yeah, but then you have that single. Yeah. yeah. But that's like... No, but that's what I was trying to do. Like, yeah. I'm trying to find that path to... There's definitely a path there. And you have to figure out where to start. Maybe the middle... Let's see. Yeah. 
Then you go down, down one. Oh, I would have gone the exact opposite way. It, the problem is you can't tell where you've been down the outside. And that's yeah, why I think, you have to memorize I, I, I think it should show you where you've been around the outside. That's really hard with the way he has it now. Um, you can kind of leave that. Hmm. Maybe leave the, the middle. Yeah, that's. Hmm, I have to get that one. have to go up which I have to change that whole line now yeah and you you get stuck that becomes a dead end yeah go around the outside yeah that might work oh no you you've got a dead end there so yeah uh almost <laughs> one off <laughs> oh boy if I start here and end up on the other. No, I, 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 you can't get those middle boxes easily. Oh boy. yourself one way or the other yeah still down to one <laughs> damn it <laughs> this one's hard One or two left. I can't. There's two dead ends. You can't do that. Okay. Move on to puzzle five after this if you can't get this. Okay. Can't play puzzles all the time. <laughs> can't play them for too long. It's really tedious on the street. Nice little puzzler. Andrew Davy says, I'd like to see the width doubled on the squares and use sprites for the other color changes as suggested. Yeah, that's that would make that would make it so you could see the differentiation between the outside and the inside. Um, would that show where you've been on the outside and the inside? Is that possible? Because you'd have to have Three different colors. Sorry, but I have to head off. Catch you on the flip side. Thanks for coming by, Andrew. And thank you so much for upgrading that soccer and continuing on with it. It's not often that uh, programmers uh, explicitly state that here's the source code. Please continue on with it. So that was really, really great that that opportunity came up and you pushed the soccer much, much further and really upped up the game. <laughs> Got an idea? Well, I have an idea, but I'm just trying to figure out how to... I think it's a lot more complicated than... <laughs> <laughs> Change it to black, that line. 
time that line. Yeah, because you don't need to make the whole thing black. You don't need to make the whole thing gray. But once you touch one line, you have to do the whole rest of it. Yeah, and I'm stuck with that that last piece. Hmm. Hey, Alan the Fur. Welcome. Okay, you're done. No, I'm not done. <laughs> Recently got my hair cut, second, second time, non-professional, Tanya, shaved the sides. <laughs> I have like one of the easiest haircuts possible for doing um, at-home haircuts. It's just, I, I mean, she didn't cut the long part. I mean, it's very long now. It's like past my chin, but you don't have to cut that one. That can grow for a while, but it's just the sides on both sides. That she cut down and that's just a level one was it level one you used it's level two i think it was a two either way that's all you had to do we do have one more game scott of the hall after this it's atari 7800 game million molly it's got our upgraded rewind feature No rewind feature in this. No. Okay, you're done. Okay. We'll look quickly at puzzle five. Okay. I'll go back to that some other time. <laughs> See if we can do this. Yeah. Um, so we've got another torturous one that he said was really, really, really hard. Yeah. And he just made it possible. Like this. Hmm. Has a no clear path, which you can do down. But, um, <laughs> <Nope. laughs> <laughs> it's like on this one. Are you going to change this line to all black well, or this line now to that, all Well, now that you've said that it's the lines, then now that changes changes what you're doing, right? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's kind of easier to make these outside disappear and make that one disappear. Well, you can do... And, and go... Then, no, why are you going around? You could go... Oops. I think okay. you can almost... Well, not in the middle part, though. Yeah. This is not going to work, but that's okay. <laughs> Problem with puzzle games... Is most puzzle games, like Million Molly, you can actually help get help from the crowd. This one is like, yeah, it's impossible to instruct the person through text on how to help out with this. You get two more tries. It's, you need to think about which ones you want to be white and black, you do. unfortunately. to do that. Hmm. It's like easier if you're thinking, oh, all black or all white, but now if you can do alternating stripes, it's... Yeah. You just have to kind of play with it. <laughs> you do. You don't have to duck in it points and then finish off a gray or start a gray and utilize like 
points of advantage as you're going through. I mean, that's not bad. No, it's not gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Yeah, I didn't, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, good. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> we, did, we did the first three. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll leave it up to you it as an exercise. It's not to... the most enthralling uh, gameplay. No, it's, it's a bit Puzzle rough. games, you're just sitting there thinking, so. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to Millie and Molly for the 7800. Mm. Um, so let's go, let's do that. Switch it over, game four. Millie and Molly. Where are my, where is everything? What happened to my computer? Yeah, good game to play alone, not for a show. Yeah, it's not very yeah. dynamic. <laughs> no. Neat, though. A little simple game. What the hell happened? Where's my... Where's everything? What? There it is. It's back. It's just OBS, like, went full screen. Uh -huh. Oh, I probably pressed F11. There we go. It's, like, covering everything up. <laughs> so let's load up the Atari 7800. Get that over... This is a brand new build. Very exciting. Yes. Where did we end up? Uh, level 49. Okay. He actually passed it over, which was very nice of him, with the code. Yep. It's a nice noise. Luckily, you guys can't hear it. Well, you can hear it through the... Through this. Yeah. Through the microphone. <laughs> screen on that screen and I can't move it. It's more move? That's weird. There we go. I'll manually move it. Oh. There you go. Nope. Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> it's just not complying today. Nope. It's full screening it over there. That's weird. Now it's gone. And it's completely disappeared. Welcome to live broadcast. Oh. It does not want to put it on that screen. Okay, bye, the D-Train. Bye-bye. Thanks for hanging out. Oh. But I... We do need to get it on that screen because we need to see it. Where's my mouse now? Oh my goodness. There's my mouse. It, because there's like multiple, like it's full screen. Okay. Where is it? Okay, you're crashing out. Oh, there it is. There, finally. Oh my god. Nightmare. Nightmare. Perfect. Now we just need to get the controls working. And he's implemented the rewind feature in this Excellent. version of the game. So that if we make a small mistake, we can just rewind back. And it is very, very cool looking. Mm -hmm. Does it look like that, um, oh, what was the game where you do the moving forward and backward in time? Yes, it's very much like that. Yeah. So what press buttons when I tell you to. Sure. Controller, no. Video and audio controller inputs up. That's not the ProLine joystick. Uh, apparently not. Let's do keypad. Keypad? What was it before? I'm sure it was the up. Bizarre. Hmm. 
Hmm. Troubles today. It says Proline Joystick. It does. Even though I've selected keypad. Probably because I didn't have it plugged in before I loaded the that emulator. Would, that would, that might, yeah. Ugh. Let's crash it out. Please hold on. Troubles. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna mute it again. Terrible screeching noise. It's weird that it uh, moves to that screen. Moves to this screen. Was it doing it that last time? No, I think I just had something. Oh, well, it's different. Okay, up. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? No million molly today. <laughs> oh, we'll use the keyboard. Um, oh, well, let's load the ROM first. Not that that helps, but it gets rid of that noise. I don't like the new music, Carl G says. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit jarring, yeah. No storage. This is nicer. I mean, it has Proline joystick, What's VCS. VCS. Maybe it's VCS. We'll try that. Yellow. Reset. Oh, God. <laughs> that just resets the game. Wow. Now he's put the Atari H in there because he's going to be distributed by Atari. Oh, oh. I can move it. Well, that's oh, that's a pro it. that's a progression. Um, VCS, maybe this will work now. Oh, joystick one up. But it. Okay, up. No, it it's. <laughs> well, it... you can do the keyboard at least. I'm going to change ports on this. Maybe it's the port. Maybe it's. The... Perils of live TV. Yeah. There. Jesus. <laughs> okay, down. Oh. Okay, no, just be very precise. You got a left in there. What? Do it again. Good. Left. Right. Button one. Now, this is a two button, so we do have to change back to the Pro Line joystick. So, now that it's working. What? Down below Pro Line. That's joystick two. Yeah. Maybe we have to press enter? What is going on? Up. But it's still just one, it's still the VCS. Just press up anyway. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do that. Up, down, left, right, button one, button two. Okay. Uh, return to the machine. Try and go up and down now. Yep. Controls, two buttons. Good. Okay, so I think. We're working? Yeah, it looks like a main bug. He wants it louder. A louder. Louder music? Game sounds louder, please. Okay. We're going louder. It's 
too loud, let me know. Okay, so we need to put in a level pass code so we can go back. To 49? Uh, level 45, actually. Okay. Uh, so it's 963. Uh, zero six four. Yay! Level forty six. Yeah, we passed forty five. And play. So I don't think the second button is working because that brings you back to the right hand side, right? Yeah. So let's try and fix that. Change that. Uh, don't press anything on that. Let's change it to a light gun and see if it remembers that. No. It's weird. Let's change. Yeah, why isn't this actually changing? Changing anything here. Like these seem to be the same no matter what. Like this is the root. Well, change that to. Pro line, and let's just see if it works. Return. This option is currently mounted in the running system. Oh. Okay. Mounted. That means you can't change it. Return to machine for a second. Still too low? Really? It's very low. Okay, I'll turn it up some more. Yeah, can't you use the volume buttons on whatever? Well, it's the relative volumes. Oh, you mean you want them to do it? Well, we'll turn it up even more. One second. Can't do any backwards. So. Okay, so I think once it's loaded, it it's. You're screwed. You're screwed, so... You're going to have to redo it. <laughs> we have to kind of exit out of the game, possibly. Yeah. I think you have to completely reboot it. I don't know why it goes over there. So make sure the uh, controllers are okay. So, Proline controller. Hopefully it remembers that. So now it's saying Proline. There we go. And now it has both. What? Down, left, right, 1B. Hooray. Of course we have to that's, pass code again. That's fine. That's... All right. So that's annoying. Once it's locked in, you can't change it. That's what was the problem. Okay, 963. Nope. Six three zero uh six four. So everybody fine with the volume now? <laughs> now we're ready to go. We have the joystick working, we have the screen working, we have the volume working, and we're ready to take on some levels. Okay. Remember how we do it. <laughs> There's so only just... one person on the screen right now. Yeah. So this is a, a just single. A... Yep. Good. Does that cancel? Cancel from the menu, I think. How do I go back? Yeah, I have to go to the X. No. Nope. Okay. That's okay. All right. <laughs> so. Oh, the 
third one down is reset to the beginning. Second one down is rewind. First one's pause. So you just touch them oh. to kill them. Do they fall? Uh, that yes, would they fall. Do. Yeah. So you have to walk across. If that's what I want to do. Yeah. Is that what I want to do? And you can push some blocks. Time for an Atari 7800 SD card reader. Right. Yes, please. Please point me to one <laughs> on the internet and I will buy it. They don't exist right now. So you can't buy one. Uh, there we go. I get to the ladders. <clears throat> so you probably want to get that guy f first. Push that guy, or can you push guys? No, you can't. So if I go, push that down, and we can get this dude. And that guy, and that guy, and then go around to the left. And this dude, now. Oh, you're done. Get that guy down there, right? Go back around, get the two there. Rewind. We didn't need to, but no. We probably but we can. On this one. So these are all just baddies. There's a lot of them. Mm -hmm, that's a full screen. And those so. blocks are gonna fall. Mm hmm. And you may need to clear out dirt, so you might end up blocking yourself. Oh, you can go down that way. Oh, the oh, you might fall. have you might have just blocked yourself from going back to that ladder. I did. Yeah. But you can rewind. Look at this. Like the little rewind, oh, the VCR. Cute. The VCR, the little effect, that's awesome. You can hold it down. There we go. Neat. That is very neat. So the scarabs stay where they are. The concerto cart that Atari was working on, he is still actively working on it, just slowly. He posted a couple days ago, so that is still happening. Um, so if you get the scarab, and then get the green guy, and then go back. So now you can potentially, yeah, get back over that if you need to. Yeah. The scarabs hold everything above, so I wonder if... Want to get all the green guys first? Well, the green guys will fall, or but the I green the guy by the scarab, first. well, because the, the stuff above it will will fall down, potentially, mm. so you may want to keep that line. I can get all the green guys. Except for the one that will be over there. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's probably a problem. Mm. I can push it over. Now, these will probably need to be built up so I can get the next one, then I am... Possibly screwed. Definitely screwed. <laughs> Trapped down here. Mm -hmm. It's neat to watch everyone like that. <laughs> it is really cool effect. So I guess the question is, is what do you want to clear out in what order? Uh, I mean, you can clear out the dirt. All the dirt. I don't, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, not that dirt. Oh, so maybe. <laughs> Oops. Oh, 
Oops, oops is right. How do you get out of this? Oh, pause? Pause gets you out? Or the first button gets you out? Mm -hmm. Then you could clear the two two scarabs, which shifts everything down. These two? Well, I'm not saying do it. I'm just right. like thinking that would cascade it down, and then you can walk back across the dirt and potentially clear the dirt out if that's something you need. Like those two. Oh, you can do that too. You can't clear that dirt. But Shouldn't? No. I can't get across. Yeah. Yeah. Like I wasn't going to do that. Pause goes back to the game. It's a very strange button. Um, it's that last scarab that's kind of the problem. Well, you can, can push you no, but you can push the stuff out of the way to expose the ladder. There's a ladder potentially behind those 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 two barrels, right? So there can be ladders behind those. Yeah, I don't see why not. I think there might be a ladder behind it. I mean, we don't know. I don't know why you're going that way, because you can't clear it out that way. Oh. You would have to go across. And go back. But I don't know. Like, if you if you go to the second line... Second line? No. That's exactly the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, the scarab. Yeah. Clear the scarabs. I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to work, but if you clear that line... Yeah. All the way across. All the way across, and then push that. Oh, okay. Right. Now, now you can't push it. So that would be a reason for clearing the dirt there. Although you can go back and forth. Oh no, you can't, can you? Interesting. Now you can't get across at all. <laughs> nope. This is not an easy one. Mm. Rewind effect is so cool, yes. Uh, Dan, thanks for the update on the cart. I haven't checked the forums much. Oh, you wanted to? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you are very welcome. I mean, it's not an update. It's kind of an update. It's not out. But he is, he is slowly working on it. And then some people gave him a bunch of crap. Which is always terrible. A bunch of crap, what? Yeah. For not working on it faster, or mm. blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, you make one. If it's so easy. <laughs> Should I try on the bottom part first? Yeah, that's going to drop down. And then that's going to drop down. Which is not the worst thing in the world. Maybe you want all those things to be able to walk across to the, that tone. Uh, Off there. Oh, I can't push it over, can I? Not with the ladder mm. there. Thanks for hanging out, uh, Janzel Netherland. Is it Janzel? Janzel. Janzel. There's only 53 more levels after this. <laughs> So, myself and the guys have had a good play around. I think everything is looking very solid. Please find the attached the latest build. To use a rewind feature, tap the... Sneeze. <coughs> tap the first button to switch between Millie and Molly on levels containing both. Hold back... Hold, hold button one to activate... Oh, so you can just hold the first button to rewind. Oh. If you want to. So that's a fast way of doing it. Tap button oh, two, nice. if available or press the pause to activate the sidebar menu. So there's two ways of getting to the rewind. 
use the up, down, and either button to select the required option. So you've got pause, which goes back to the game, which is very strange, but that's in the original. Then the rewind, then the reset, and then the quit to the menu. On the last show, you completed level 45. Very well done, by the way. Had a lot of trouble with that one. The code to continue is the code we punched in. And this is, this is very this cool. This is a hard, hard level. Yeah, that's really, no, really I'm convenient. Yeah, I'm playing with it right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have it that accessible. And um, I was trying to help out with um, the music with them um, because there was some really high pitched tones in some of the music. Like you can hear the little bell dinging in this one. And that's kind of the tone that was continuous in some of the songs. So I did some audio spectrum analysis of the songs that the high, had the high pitch and you could see exactly where they were in the songs. So that hopefully that helped them out if they needed that information to try and isolate um, isolate those tones and maybe t you know tamper them down or make them quieter or eliminate them or whatever they want to do with them. Depends on whether you play with one button or two button joystick selection. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But Atari 7800, their joysticks have two buttons, but I guess you don't have to use a two button joystick on the 7800. You could always play with a single button joystick. Then how would you ever exit a level if you don't have a two button joystick? I guess you could press reset and it would get back to the main menu. But it's a, ni a nice option, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Can I just get that up above? I can't really I can get that beetle down there. Yeah, it's it's in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Very similar to the last kind of puzzle game because you have to think about where you're going to end up. Yeah, it's like do you... Do you start down there? Do you start up top? Where do you drop the things? Honestly, don't. I'm you can make it all the way back there, yeah. So that's the top cleared out. But it's like Which is kind of independent from the bottom. Yeah. But also, it doesn't have to be independent. like that left hand comes into play somehow but those two spots no yeah. like you have to push something over but but to get there it's difficulty it looks to me that the key to this level is keeping some of the beetles around to hold up the blocks while you take care of things possibly. below possibly it's true but then you also you have to get back somehow. a platform for those to get get those beetles again yeah and that is kind of the issue. Kind of true, because those beetles do hold up those blocks from falling, because they will fall as soon as you get these green guys. Now, getting the green guys is easy. Getting that beetle on the right is easy. Getting the beetle on the left is not. Now, you could do that and, and keep it pretty safe, and even get that last green guy as he drops down. If you can kind so, of push those over. It's not bad. I may have messed that up, but I think 
Or you can keep the green guy there for later. Well, no, no. Um. I, this is making me think that maybe that's why you want some of the beetles at the top. Alright, so there's not so many. Um, blocks in the bottom? Maybe. Oh, get that beetle. Mm. But now you're stuck. You'll fall down in the pit. Oh. Uh, yeah. I could have put a block. I could have pushed a block over. That I would could have pushed be a block perfect. over. Because I can do this, but then this guy's above me. Yeah, and then you're done. Yeah. And you can rewind to where that block pushing ability possibility was. Yeah. So I think that might give you something. Maybe, or it could mess something else up. So. Yeah. Get the green guy, push him over. The green guy still hold up that block. Oh, yeah, you can push by pressing the button. You can kick it. It doesn't really matter. And then that top block will fill in that bottom spot. Now, do you want to push that over or not? No. Can you still can you get out? I can push it over. Yeah. <gasps> Perfect. No. Maybe. Hmm. So you have to get that green guy. That's yeah, the problem. That's easy enough. Oh, he falls. he falls. Oh, phew. <laughs> it's easier than we thought. Yeah, there's, there. I have a feeling there might be other ways of doing that level too. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna run to the washroom. Hey, kitty. Oh. Yawn. Okay. Okay. There's only three guys here. Now I'm forced to get that. Now I'm not forced to get the next one, but if I go back, I'm stuck, so I'm forced to go to the right. Now if I go to the left and push that block over, the blocks above me will fall, but that's okay. Because then I can push them into the pit, which actually lets me go up here. Now, ooh. If I dig that dirt, both that guy, that guy and the block will fall, which will go right to the bottom, and I can only push it left, which will completely block everything. Hmm. And the only way I can get the green guy is going down there, and I can't get out of the pit again. Let's just try that. I know what's going to happen. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, and I can't get this guy. Hmm? No. And you can get that guy, I think but I you can't get back up. up here. Where did you start? Uh, over on the left, where there's a bunch of... Oh. I think... Mm. What I do is... No, yeah. Oh! And I can't do that either, so I have to. I have to do this. Yeah. Now, if I... But you might not want to get that green guy right away. I guess you don't have much choice, though. I don't. Because you have to push... There's only one, really one move. Yeah, and then you're dead, yeah. Like, I'm forced to do all of these things. Yeah. I'm forced to do that. And that, to walk I'm across. I'm forced to do that. Yeah. So then what you're left with... It, what, why are you... No, I would have gone the other way around. Oh! You need to go around the other way. You that, need to go up and around. That. I think. But I still can't get out. That's the problem. Oh, no, 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 wait. No. I can rewind. No, I, I know how you do it now. It's fine. You think you do I think I do. Okay. Like, there's no options. That's the problem. Like, I can't push. I can't get this guy. The only thing left is either going down or I'm trapped, or getting this block of dirt. That's it. I have to fall. But then you can't get back up. Oh! I just pushed that to the right. What am I doing? Yeah. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I was correct. I mean, that was your. Why am I getting the easy levels? <laughs> Are they easy? I don't. Know. Well, that was twenty times faster than the last level. There's still only three people, which makes it a lot. So, get that green guy right away. Which I don't think he affects anything one way or the other. You have to get that beetle. Oh, this is so easy. Get the green guy. Go around. Push that block down. Oh, no, you have to get back up. Yeah, push that block. Push oh. this block. Oh, you have to get up that ladder. You have to get up that ladder somehow. Smitty, Smitty B seven eight hundred. You were correct. I didn't push that. That's really obnoxious. <laughs> there. It says you did. No, I didn't. Oh, you can't get up there. But there's still two blocks, and you need one more block. Okay, I didn't. I always forget. I always think it's blocking the ladder, but it's not. It's not. Yeah, you need that block from up top. In a somewhere. Mm. Push down. How do you get that one? You can't get back up though. Oh. So you do have to get this guy first. Yep. You need to get uh, that block down. Oh. To get that piece of dirt. And drop both of them. No, 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 no. No? Rewind. Both oh, of them down. I see. And you can push that one over. I think. Why would you be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. So then, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. <laughs> hmm. Uh, this reminds me a lot of magic. Gold puzzle popples on the game gear, which I sank hours into. I can really see myself doing the same with this. Well, it's a hundred levels, and this is our third playthrough, and they're getting exponentially longer. <laughs> our first playthrough, we got through 30 levels, the second one, we got through 15, and this one, we've gone through. <laughs> So, you can see they get really, really complex. And, um... I kind of like the rewinding. Just the visuals of it, yeah. Oh, that! That's... That one you don't want to push okay, yet. Thinking. That one you want to push onto another one. One of those two. That's the thing. How do you get it over there, though? Um, you push that one on top of that one. Then kill the dirt. They both drop down. You drop on the left-hand side. Push it over. You don't. That no, middle one no. falls down. How do you fall down? Once you you're it? once you can't get back up there. You can't get back up there to push it over. Mm. What do you do need to somehow? So what you need. So I think you need to fall that's, that down. So one of those two need to be the bottom one, because those two need to stack on top of one there to get up to that ladder. Yes, it is a port of a C64 game. Carlton Handley. Thank you, Asmarius2008. Come on, cuddle. Come on. Come on, cuddle. Pixel. There we go. Just need to say your name. Hi. Come on, cuddle with us. Are you good at this game? Do you know the solution? He says no. He says yes, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> Figure it out for yourself. That's what's fun about playing it. <laughs> Hi. Oh, very nice. Right? Not 
not doing anything. My turn. I don't know, but I. How do you get to that ladder on the far right side? Let That's, me try. Yeah, you, like I can figure out how to get that beetle quite easily, but then how do you get the ladder? Oh, you can walk across. That's how you do it. But the beetle's trapped now. I can't get that beetle. So that's a bit of an issue. No, but you need the, you need the beetle. You need the beetle to walk across. Yeah. Yeah. So push that. Walk across. Push, push the other one down. Now get the beetle. Oh, get the okay. beetle. Go get the beetle at the top. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can do it this way. Yeah. And, and then, then get that last beetle. And then figure out how to get You can push... Well... Ooh, you can push, the other push, way. You push, push the top... What are you doing? Push the top <laughs> one over. Like that. And then the bottom one. And then knock it over once, and then come back, yeah. and then drop over. Yeah. Yeah. See? You just gotta start doing it. <laughs> Well, cats are the masters of not keeping things up high ledges. Yeah. That's true. They'd be very good at this. They go yeah. bat, 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 bat. Oh, uh, boy. So many. This is another nightmare one. With tons of dropping blocks. Blocking yourself. Uh. Well, the beetles aren't really consequential. So the, the biggest problem is getting the beetles. So you've just made it impossible for you to get the beetles. <laughs> so... Because everything else falls, and it's just right. a matter of, of falling. But you're not going to get the beetles now, so you have to go back. <laughs> Who says? No. Yeah. So, like, that's what you have to do. You have to figure out what is what is going to be the problem. So the beetles are the problem. Beetles so you have to create a path to the beetles. A walkway. Yeah. yeah. So as you drop things, the barrels will get in the way. Right. I just need these down one. So if I, oh, I can't get them. <laughs> you need to, to clear another green guy, and then go back up and get the beetle. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Now, you're going to block yourself in with the barrels, so. Uh, no, because I have ladders all over the place. No, not now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so so that's what I mean, like, like it's all about getting the beetle and not blocking yourself in. Mm. So you may have to. I can't drop that guy. I can't get to go across there. Maybe it's back more. Maybe I need to clear out more. I can't get up there. Hmm. Maybe I need to clear out the line of these guys first. This way. Yeah, the Because the barrel. beetle's always going to be there. Yeah. And then... Drop another line of them. Well, you can clear, the, clear them back. Yeah. And then clear one green guy. Ah, there we go. And I still have ladder escape. And there. then, and then go down and get the green guy. And then do the same thing. If I can remember. Um, oh, there's. Is there an extra barrel there? No. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. So. Because you can go down the ladder. Walk across. Yeah. Go down the ladder. And then clear again. And then drop down one. Yeah. Get the beetle. Drop down. Get the guy. Yeah. That was that was way easier than the <laughs> last level was. It's all patterns. Yep. <sighs> uh, you can read about Million Mile in this thread. Thank you, Astro Mayors, for uh, posting that. Oh, only three guys. Lots of blocks and lots of dirt. It's a matter of getting to them. Yeah. How do you get to them? Oh, you're forced. So. Right now, in only one direction. Oh, that's true. And then you can do the right hand side, or you can do that. Yeah. And then I fall down. Uh, yeah. Yes. But oh. Oh boy. I have to get up onto that ladder. Oh boy. Miss Sinclair says, this looks so fun. I played this for hours, honestly. And I think yeah. Tanya, Tanya and I would too. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, you can get it now. Well, I can get the there beetles. Yep. But then I might block my. S oh, you just have to. Yeah. Drop. Oh, it's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go. Oh my god. That, okay. was, that was relatively easy <laughs> <laughs> compared to some of the other ones. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yay! This one doesn't look too bad. So you need to get up to the beetle. Yeah, and I think that requires kind of moving this block over here and then dropping some dirt. You have to get back, be able to get back to the ladder. So you're probably going to have to snake. Yeah, you might have to go down and around. No, no, clear. Oh. Why did you not clear that out? You can't get the that top now. One? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So go clear that one. And then you might have to push that barrel over. Oh. Right? Okay, no, 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 no. Clear clear the, the line, the three. Those two, three. Yeah. Okay, go back, go down and around. And then put that one on top of the other one. I'm gonna get stuck. Mm, as long as you can keep going. So if you push, oh yeah, the barrel. And I can't, it's just gonna fall and... Uh, How many do you need? I just need one more. You need three, right? So if you if you push one barrel on top of that one. Oh, I can do that second one. Push over. That. Yeah, but I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck now. Can you push that down? No, you can't. No. Yeah, I think you've almost got it though. Yeah, there you go. Now go back. Tari? Oh, maybe not. Do not chew proprietary oh. cables. No, you he's screwed a, it he's up. A <laughs> <laughs> you definitely screwed it up. Yeah. Try again. The rewind. Yeah, it is amazing. That could be done on a 2600 as well, the rewind feature. I think you need to move your barrel You just first. do um, a line of play field, black and white, mm -hmm. black and white play field. That's all it is. Like that could be done on any 2600 game. I you mean, did, remembering all the moves. I, is I think thing. you need to move that lower barrel first before you do. Anything. Yeah. Now, probably want to get the first beetle. So if I go to that dirt, I just fall, fall down. Yeah. I can't. I can't get the second dirt. So I think you have to snake your way down. I don't think you can. You can't fall into dirt. No. I. I. Yeah. No. I. You have to do from the top down. It locks things in place. Yeah. You have to clear out dirt. So you kind of have to unlock all these blocks, almost like get them from both sides, like maybe, maybe that, and then maybe even like get just, that one. Like yeah. just clear out as much as you can, right? Yeah. Try that again. And then... I guess the question is... Oh, this. then I can do that. And then I can drop that one down. Oh, that's too far. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> um, oh, mm, mm, mm. oh, 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 oh. I mean, mm. I can push that over and drop it, but that doesn't help me get to the beetle. No, I'm trying. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'm going to start from the beginning. Alan the first says, You have, first have to stack three blocks on the right side. blocks on the right side. Oh. Yes. Do mm -hmm. you? How does that get you to the third, the second to top beetle, though? Beautiful sprites, yes. And he was able to copy these sprites perfectly from the C64 um, by using double wide sprites, he said. 
it's a really nice almost like shadowy uh, black outline effects especially when she's on the ladder that may just be accidental though so you can see through her hair now you can push that second one or yeah the second one all the way over Uh, and then you can reach the the dirty under the lowest block of the dirt. Oh. Oh, you can push that top one over and get the first beetle. No. No. The oh. For what no. that's worth. No. You don't want to do that. It doesn't matter at this point. <sighs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 uh. What you want to do is definitely push that over. Then drop that one on top of it, and then, and then you then can what? walk across. Yeah, but but that's that's to get to that second beetle. Up. Yes, but at the end of the day, how and do you get to the third one. Uh, oh, is, I, know. I, know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, this is how you do it. Yeah. Is it? Yes. Then you fall. Then you clear. Might not be doing this perfectly. And then you've got. It's like how. Oh, if I could only <laughs> clear. So you need them both over. Yeah, if you do it on the other side, you'll be able to reach that beetle. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> At least the less you continue. Yeah, I would try it on the left side. Because that's just too much dirt to walk past. If you can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, wrong. No. no? no you can't push that first block over to the left. But if that block of dirt is there, you can. Oh, no, you still can. No, you can't. No, oh, rewind. Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You almost had it. You almost had it. What do you mean? No. Go back. Go back. Rewind. Rewind. Oh, maybe you're fine still. Maybe you're fine still. If you have enough blocks to get over. I think you've locked that other one in. Which one? The, the block that's still in. Oh, there. I see. You needed to unlock that before. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I get I get it now. Rewind. I needed to clear the dirt. Yeah. So just rewind back to where that block beside... The dirt beside that beetle exists. Above that, clear, drop this first. Clear out. No. Let me try. What do you want me to go clear? down one? Yeah. Clear out all that dirt. And then I get trapped. Uh, no, I'm not trapped. Yeah. Because you can push that. Maybe you are trapped. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Now I have to. Oh, sorry. I'm trapped. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Are you going to be trouble? Do we need to kick you out? Your tail indicates your trouble. <laughs> your tail gives you away. Crazy mood. Bye bye. I don't even 
remember what I did last time now. Oh, no. I think I just screwed myself. Did you? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't even remember what I did last time. You screwed me up so much. Uh, <laughs> I thought there was an opportunity, but... No, that's the right path, I think. So what did I do? I dropped... The s second one first? Yeah, you went... And then I came go around. Up, go up one more. You went all the way to the right. No, I know. Oh, no, no, no. That's clear, not what I did. I cleared clear it. That I cleared first. that. Yeah. So maybe... Maybe I still want to clear up the top. Maybe. Do this Doesn't side. Doesn't hurt. Provides opportunity to... For movement. Yeah. And then that one as well. Yeah. Let's see. And then you cleared the bottom left dirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. No, I know this what I perfect. did. This yes. is perfect. Yeah. Clear that dirt. Yeah, no, but what, what you drop You drop the second one up. Yeah. And then you drop then it automatically drops the third one up. And then you can go around and push no, that I one over. I can't, I can't. Okay, here, you do it. Because <laughs> I messed it up. I shouldn't have cleared that that upper part. I shouldn't have cleared the upper part. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, I you shouldn't have cleared it. Really? No. Actually, technically... Had it right the first time, and so I think it's just a matter of um, going to the beginning much faster. So I just cleared that column and dropped it. The, that top one? Yeah, I just cleared that. And then you can quite easily get. Now the question is, is how do you? How do you drop that last one? You need to drop it. How do you drop that last one? I need to get rid of that dirt right there beneath. It's the only way I can move over to the left. Yeah. You have to do something in the beginning. Yeah, no, yeah. Bef um, maybe you don't drop that one. Yeah. You can go back. But no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Because I'm trying to clear a, pla clear a path for that bottom block. Because it drops this one down. Well, or um, I do that first, but then I can't walk across to do it. Hmm. 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 Oh. Um. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You might be able to clear the dirt to the right of the middle block, yes, to push it over so you can get to the left of the lower block. To push it. Oh! Oh! Okay. Right. So you can kind of move it out of the way temporarily. He's saying clear cleared the dirt from the right hand side of the middle block. This one? Or yeah, this one? That one, yeah. And then this one too? Uh he didn't say that. But <laughs> I think that's fine. Um and then 
Oh no, I can't. I, I, why did I just do that? That doesn't make sense. Uh, dirt? Yeah, I need that dirt. <laughs> oh, to walk across? Mm -hmm. And then, okay, you can do that top and kind of push that one over, just temporarily, go up one. How do I get out? Uh, you don't, you get trapped. Um, hmm, so you can't do that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there we go. No. Well, why do I want to push that over? I don't know, just to get it out of the way. Because I have to push it back. Damn it. So you need access to that bottom mm -hmm. block. Gonna fall. I know you want in, but your brother was very bad. He's jumping all over the place. You've gotten rid of that dirt. Oh, that's a good time. Come on. <laughs> yeah, once you get rid of that dirt, it falls. Mm hmm. Start from the top, do the same thing, then work down. Now you only need two, but how can you drop? Yeah. Like you only need two on either side. Can't get that one anymore. Oh. But oh. I have to. I have to somehow get oh. that over. Then you go up. Oh no, no you can't. No, you can't. Damn it. Unless there's a way to clear that dirt, but that one piece of dirt at some point was there an opportunity? I don't know. Oh, don't reset it. Just for one. Yeah. Uh, maybe there is an opportunity at one point. I don't know because they block each other. The, the barrels block themselves, which is why it's a problem. There, there, there was one. There was an opportunity there. Where? Or maybe not. No, there isn't. I just saw it. Um, thought I saw it. I like the music doesn't <laughs> go into a qu crazy rewind mode. <laughs> Yeah, music just keeps going. Backwards music would be fun touch during rewind. Yeah, they could just like play some craziness, like it sounds backwards. But yeah, that would be that would be really interesting. Cause I think in that that game that we played, it did play backwards music when you were rewinding. It's getting there. Is anyone still out there? <laughs> One second, I just have to oh. get my mouse. I have to check, check. We're taking a long time. Where's my mouse? It's on this screen. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, there.
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Not a lot of input to offer. Yeah, it's, that's the problem with these puzzle games. Okay. I feel like we're it's like right there. Yeah, it's just one piece of dirt. If you drop the lower block from the right hand side, maybe you could push it over and use it as the lowest block in the second pile you need mm. to build. That's the problem, you can't get to that second block. Block needs to be dropped. Drop the lower block from the right hand side. Yeah, yeah but then you can't get back over to push the blocks. You can't get to it, like at any point. Oh, I, I guess you can if you um, get that lower dirt. Yeah, but then you can't the get one dirt, over. And then get it from the right. From the left. Okay, tell me what you mean by that. I'll show you. You have to push it over because you can't you release the dirt beneath it. You can't release the dirt beneath no, it. No, I don't want to. I want to do this. And then this. It's just an idea of how yeah. to get the block down. But then, yeah. Like you may be trapping. You are, sadly. But maybe you can... Oh, no, you're not. But you're not trapped. Watch this. Watch this. And then you go up around. Oh, I see. Dig that dirt out. Ah, smart. Oh! Boom. Oh, yeah. You could have released the other one first, too. And then... Then that goes there. That goes there. And you've done it. And you just release that. Good job! Woohoo! Eventually! Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> get that guy. Too first. early. Yeah. There you go. And then one more. Thank you so Thank much. You for, for Thank you for the, that. all the prompting from all the people. Okay. I think, I think we're, we're, we're good. It. 52. 52. That three was a levels. Of, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> that took a while. 
fun game though. It's so much fun. It is super, super fun. Um, that is an awesome game. Let me get my mouse back. There yeah. we go. Well, um, thank you for sticking with us. Thrust, Carl, Dan, S. Ramirez, and <laughs> Smitty. Whoever else is. Yeah, and all, all of you lurking because uh, it's definitely a long. It is. You long know, puzzle game games, that we leave, that's why we leave it at the end. So people uh, who want to watch it yeah. can watch it. And Not that, the most dynamic. That is coming out late to 2020 or early 2021 is it? Nice. through Atari Age. Nice fully sanctioned by the original creators of the C64 game. Mm. So that is awesome. Yes, get a copy. Yes, Yeah, eventually. the passcodes are awesome too because you do yeah. want to start off where you left off instead of going back through the yeah. walls, So I'm not sure like if he's going to implement save key or not. It's kind of redundant. If you have the passcode, you don't really need you the don't... save key. You just need to keep track of the passcodes or usually yeah. someone posts them anyway. So yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, then somebody will have a full list of passcodes. They can check it out. Um, so let's take a look at what is coming up, because that is the show. Um, we've got um, nothing too big. We've got a couple games that I'm going to put in here and there. Stella Sketch, Dive Kick. Um, I got past a new version, an updated version of... John Shampoo's new game. It's escaping me right now. What? Uh, um, Robotron? Robotron. Yeah. Yeah. Where he's got trails and stuff added in. So. Oh, nice. Uh, we might just touch on that next episode. Just, just show to it check, off. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. Robotron. Somebody typed it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is definitely a must buy for the 7800. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's a couple more games in there as well that uh, I haven't typed in. I'm sure some more will pop up. Unfortunately, I don't have a 7800. No, no. Oh, you can find one, I'm sure. Or you can play it in emulation yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if this will be available in no. emulation. Yeah, no. we'll so have to see. I don't know if he's going to release a demo or not. Shouldn't be too much. Just release the first five levels. Yeah, or something like clear that. Clear the rest of them out. Yeah. Like, just don't put them in there. Yeah. That'd I won't be, nice. be there next Sunday. Oh no! Oh no! That sucks. Well, you can watch in repeats, and comment in YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stella sketch is cool. Yeah, it is very cool. Um, so thanks everybody uh, for hanging out with us. Holidays. Yeah, oh, holidays it was a European are good. holidays. Yeah. Excellent. Watch on yeah. the road. Put it on your phone. <laughs> Use up your bandwidth. Um, thanks, Thrust26, Scott of the Hall, S. Ramirez2008, uh, Al Nifer, Carl G, Smitty B7800, Dan AVC, uh, VHZC for letting us play his brand new game, Miss Sinclair, uh, Janzel NL, who else is in this list? Packrat VG's in there. The D Train. D Train 37. Andrew, Andrew Davy for updating soccer. That yeah. was really awesome really update. Really cool. Looking forward to um, his Baseball. AI that yes. he's going to add in. Yes, 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 yes. We'll see how hard or easy that is. Yeah. AI is hard to do. It's really hard to get that balance. Cafe Man 2D. Um, oh, that's as far as it goes back. So, yes, thank you everybody for tuning in. And um, we will see you on Wednesday mm -hmm. with some more fun Atari 2600 games. Yes. Or maybe we'll play some more 7800 games because there's a bunch there yeah. that have been released in the last little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Lots of good 7800 yeah. games in there. Um, so thanks for tuning in and see you on Wednesday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye.